Zoom meetings, you show you your uh, meeting sessions, yeah. And sometimes your meeting is actually a private meeting, so it's not open to publics and you're thinking of like whether or not you can actually um, give a set meeting ID and also password for your Zoom account, right? For your Zoom meeting sessions. Hey guys, this is Zavin from DNC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually uh, set a private uh, meeting, Zoom meeting ID and also password for your uh, participant for the meeting session. So when the moment that the participant is going to join into the meeting, they will have um, to get the ID from you and they also have to get the password from you. So only the participants that's having the password will be able to join into your meeting. So let's go into the step by steps. your Zoom uh, dashboard, right? So in order for you to set up your uh, meeting ID and password, it's basically very easy. First of all, you need to decide, right? You are going for a Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar. So yep. So I'm going to share with you guys on Zoom meeting sessions, right? So a meeting session is more um, used to like, for example, if you're going to host for, um, you know, a short meeting with your clients, with your colleagues and things like that, right? Or um, yeah, it's an online meeting session itself, yeah? So if you're having a free account, um, then it will only limit you for a 40 minutes kind of a, a session, yeah? The meeting total durations, but if you are, let's say, having a pro account, you can actually have the sessions, uh, a much more longer sessions, right? So uh, what you can do is that when the moment that you come to the schedule, you a new meeting yeah you will be able to see that um, there's actually this uh, your meeting ID I mean your topic itself what kind of topic that you would like to put in let's say I'm going to put it as a zoom, uh, zoom meeting uh, password ID okay so this is a demo video right so then after that is when you can set the times you know when you want to start the time and things like that and duration for how long yep so if you can see over right here um, currently this account I'm using as a basic plan it's a 40 minutes time limit yep so and only you can only have a uh, three uh, I mean there's a, a time limit with three or more participants yeah so if you upgrade then you can have unlimited group meeting yeah so this is how it goes and you can set a time zone currently i'm in malaysia i'm going to change it to malaysia gmt plus eight so i'm going to go plus eight and uh where is malaysia kuala lumpur is our capital city all right then after that i'm going to do it over here okay so if you can see the passcode the security passcode over right here um yeah, so this is the password that you can actually set the um, password to access for this I uh, you know this meeting itself. Um, meeting ID you can either use it you want to use it as a personal meeting ID or you can use it as a general um it will it will act a uh, different meeting session, you will actually generate a different ID again. Yeah, usually I go with the generals automatically. Then I will put it as a security and I will allow for waiting room. So when the moment that if uh, someone that is actually joined to the meeting earlier, um, at least they will be in a waiting room and they will see a message for example by like, uh, wait for the host to start the meetings kind of like things, right? So yeah, so I will be, uh, whether it allows them to enable join before the host, usually I don't do that. Because uh, I will I will like them to be in a waiting room, yeah. So uh, whether or you want to mute the participants of content entry, um, depends on if you are doing a public meeting or uh, just a closed door, um, you know, uh, inner in internal meeting with your um, companies and with your friends or with your you know your clients and things like that. If that's the case, then you don't need to mute them, okay? So whether or you want to record the meeting automatically, if yes, then you can check on that. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you on the passcode over right here and save changes. Okay, and make sure that I have these, uh, you know, these, these passwords over right here. Did I save? Save, save. Okay, so what will happen is that right after you save, right, you will be able to see this uh, meeting ID right there and the passcode is also over right here. These two are the information that you need to pass on to your, um, you know, the participants that, that's going to join into this meeting. Yep, and also at the same time, you can just copy this invitations link um, to your, um, you know, to the people that you would like to invite, right? 
So once you copy, you can see that this is all the information with, uh, together with the uh, meeting ID and the password. Uh, usually this is what we do. We will just copy the whole thing and then we'll just paste it uh, to the person that we would like to invite, right? So, and that's it. So how do you join in to the meeting? For example, I'm just going to, uh, you know, copy this meeting ID. And let's say I'm going to switch to my, um, my Zoom apps, right? So this is my Zoom app. Um, well, I actually need to end this meeting <laughs> because this is my previous meeting. Okay, so I'm going to join into one. And this is my meeting ID, my name. Okay, so I'm going to just join. And this is because I'm actually the, the same host as well. So, um, yeah, it, it actually doesn't require me to join with the password itself. Yeah, but if let's say um, you are actually using, um, you know, another account to join in, then most likely they will actually ask you for the meeting ID. So let me just try if I can just um, switch it to another account and I'm going to log in back uh, with the meeting ID. Okay, so I'm going to join a meeting so right here. So this is my meeting ID and I'm going to, if you can see over right here, you will actually prompt me for the password uh, for the blue case sensitive here. Yeah? So I'm going to just type in join. Okay, so you can see that uh, I'm no longer the host. And um, yeah, basically you will just, uh, um, you know, stop you at the waiting room. And you'll need to wait for the host to start the meeting. Yeah. So um, you are required to enter the meeting ID and also the password. So that's all in this video that I would like to share with you. Uh, let me know in the comment below if you have uh, successfully, you know, uh, set up your meeting ID and password for your Zoom sessions. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. How is like and share? If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.